Welcome to Abacus Insight by Argus Software. This video is an overview of our warehouse management system. Abacus Insight is a full-featured enterprise management system built around the needs of third-party logistics providers. It is scalable, proven, and configurable to the needs of your business. Let's look at some of the capabilities of the Abacus Insight WMS. You can receive and ship product you can make inventory adjustments. You can schedule your inbound and outbound shipments, manage replenishments, import from ASCII files, track locations, move it between locations, and also set product as unavailable. Do physical counts, both cycle counts and full counts, track labor, track pallets, manage your EDI, do delivery management where you transfer to a dispatch system, and of course, there's the whole billing for services that you have provided. Let's start with our management screen. This will allow you to manage all of your inbound and outbound movements. The management screen allows you to select the orders that you wish to display. So there are receipts, there are shipments. You can look at everything, everything coming in from EDI or coming off the web. And then there's information related to customers and items and more detail about the system. In selecting, since we're on receipts here, selecting, you can pick any of the information on the side here as selection criteria. So if you're looking for a tracking number, looking for a truck number, whatever, you can bring those in. I'm simply going to bring in everything. <clears throat> this allows you to see the information on each of the orders that are out there. These can be arranged in any order that you want. So if I looked at this one here, this one is an order that has just come in, a receipt. From the management screen, you can either drill down into the detail of an order, or you can add a new order. By drilling down into a transaction, I can add any information that is needed, or I can add a new transaction. So we'll go ahead and we'll add a receipt here and we'll use this set of business rules for a customer called ABC Supply. It's being shipped from a certain location that we can enter. So I'm assuming this is coming in as a faxed type entry. This could have all been created using an electronic data interchange. This is pending, which means that I know it's coming, but it's not here yet. So I'm going to leave it as pending. I don't know the exact receiving time. I do have a PO number. I do know the carrier, so I can put that in. And I'm going to go ahead then and save that and enter the detail of what's coming in. In this case, it's going to create a lot for me. And I know what the item is, so I can actually update the information. I can put an expiration date if that's needed, I can change weights and measures and other information if that's required, and I can say what quantity is coming in. When I'm ready, and of course I can keep adding additional lines, when I'm ready to receive it, the truck actually comes, I would move it to ready to receive, and it would then allow me to, to put in the actual receive date and time would then allow me to add any other information that is relevant. And I could then come to the details, and since this was coming in as a sublot, I would be able to break it down and say, what are the actual sublots? And let's say there were two. So what I'll do is I'll create the first detail. I can automatically create them, or I can create one and then let that be, be copied for all the additional ones. So let's say it was 500 units here. I could say what the total weight was of that. I can add any other additional information that is needed that relates to this particular sublot or pallet code or item tracking. And I could say, yep, that's the information. So I've created one out here. I could come here and add any number of additional ones that would all be the same so I'd say this was one unit. Now if I were using a handheld device I would actually be able to use the handheld to update the location of where this was put away or if I did it manually I would be able to say this is where the product was actually stored and be able to record the location of those particular pellets. If there were additional products of course I could just simply add those. 
Once the order has been put away, we can set the stage as completed. We can also say that it is now ready to commit for accounting purposes and inventory management purposes. So this would then automatically create, the minute that we do the save, automatically create the transaction charges that go with this particular transaction. So we have both item charges and transaction charges. So in this case, these are the transaction charges. And the rule was bring up this window so we can actually put in the quantities that apply. So we had a standard one here. And we say this was one photo. And so we say these are the transaction charges. And so they have automatically been created. At the same time, we have also created the charges related to the item itself. So this was a first month storage charge, and this was a handling charge per pallet. And so these have been added to this particular transaction and will be billed either by transaction or consolidated into an invoice when you're ready. While well, I'm in a transaction, there are many other things that I can do. For example, I can go to the options. I, I can look at the customer credit. I can see if they're up to date in terms of their payments. I could go to the options again, for example, and set the receiving information as being unavailable. Or I could go over to the print, and I could print a receipt confirmation as required, or put away labels, or other information that is required. Anything that might go to a customer, such as a receipt confirmation, can either be faxed, emailed, or printed. The shipment process is similar. You will select the business rules to apply, who the customer is, any shipping details, and of course the items to ship. And you will manage it through the shipping stages, similarly to what we did with the receipt. And again, you can print and run various options against the orders. Completed transactions can be committed to inventory as soon as you are ready. This allows you to see what transactions are ready to commit. And in fact, if we go the next step and say, those are the ones that are ready, and I try to commit, it says it failed. And I can see why it failed. This is extremely useful because it tells me that there was a missing code. It tells me the particular transaction that it was on. It tells me what sort of code was missing. The other nice thing is that I can actually do an undo of a transaction so that if I need for any reason to change the information that has been entered, I can change it. Behind that, of course, there is an audit trail. Now let us look at the billing process. Charges are generated within the transactions, but in addition, you've got the calculation of storage charges, any deferred handling revenue, and also any miscellaneous repeating transactions or special charges. These are all grouped together for actual invoicing. So the invoicing process says, go out and generate the invoice. You can go into the invoice, modify the details. When you're ready, you can go ahead and print the invoice, be it consolidated by type of charge or as a, at a transaction level. And of course, you can undo invoices. Once I'm ready, I can commit these invoices to the accounting as well as to the accounts receivable. As you might expect, the system is rich in reports. Let's look at some of the transaction reports that are available. So I can have edit reports. I can look at transactions by item, by item lot, by item lot sublot. The recap report is very important, particularly to the customer, because it shows the opening inventory balance. It shows all receipts, shipments, and adjustments, and the closing balance, and allows them to match it against their records. This same information is available on the web, should they choose to use that. But there's various other reports, velocity reports, turnover reports, and so on. In addition, there are inventory analysis reports that allow you to look at any part of the transaction, summarize it, or look at it in detail, and be able to export that information to a spreadsheet or as a report to a customer. You can also look at the invoicing information, just what has been what has been uh, generated. Under the items, you can look at the inventory availability and print various analysis reports and so on that may be of useful to your customers. 
and at the finish down here you've got various tags and forms and so on that are just simply part of the system and the ability to label products with tags barcoded of course as, as needed. This is a very brief overview of just the Abacus Insight WMS. Additional modules exist and within the WMS we haven't touched on such things as ownership transfer, scheduling of inbound and outbound shipments, the delivery management system, repacking, the pallet tracking, labor tracking, freight charges, barcoding and handheld computers, the use of EDI, and in addition there is behind all of this the task agent which is a process automation tool that allows you to automate many of your operations. Underlying the system is accounting so that there is accounts receivable and other information related to accounting that can either be used directly or transferred to another accounting system. Our system is our passion and we'd love to share more about it with you. Once we understand your business processes and your requirements, then we can run through the system to show you how it can meet your needs. Argus Software has been a business since 1979, meeting the needs of third-party warehouses and logistics providers. We look forward to learning more about your business and your requirements. Thank you. Music